stop shredding. <clears throat> Why would I stop shredding? Don't ever believe anything you see on April 1st. Why would you stop shredding? It's so much fun. Get, where's my ball cap? Hold on, where's my ball cap? Ah, there we go. That's better. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna plug into this rig here. What it is, um, a bar and an Echoplex from my friend Vince, and a, a Mesa amp, which was the closest thing to uh, an old Fender I could get that wasn't gonna sound like a cheap old beat up Fender. So, let me shut this off. <clears throat> I got um, got this old Echoplex, and yeah, thumb pick. Got myself thumb pick, and um playing a song by Elizabeth Cotton. If you haven't heard of Elizabeth Cotton, go look her up, do it now. She plays a right-handed guitar, left-handed. She wrote all these songs. It's an unbelievable story. Uh, and then I heard this song off of um, a CD my grandmother gave me called Country Thunder. And on Country Thunder there was Joe Mathis and uh, Merle Travis. Travis Pickings named after Merle Travis. And this was the first song I decided I was going to try to learn about, oh, I don't know, 20 years ago? About that long ago? And so I started learning how to Travis pick. This. And when you put the delay in there, it starts to sound a little bit more like old rock and roll. Well, it's Travis picking, but still. Rock and roll started with this kind of stuff too, right? In, in uh, the Sun Records thing, right? Johnny Cash. Or Elvis, That's All Right Mama. so that it's got a slap back on it. Once you slap out. So, and this stuff makes racket. You can hear it hissing. Right, if I put the standby on. Uh, turn the amp off here, turn the standby on. You can still hear the uh, delay squeaking. The tape needs to be replaced. But it does a certain thing. Right, it gives it this certain squishiness too, the, with the without even it being on. Uh, that's super cool that I didn't realize that it did. I unplugged it. What did I do? I unplugged it and tried this thing. Right? I have one of those. So I tried that thing, and nope, didn't work at all. So, where my stuff go? Oh, I turned it off. Like a light switch. Not like a Marshall. Marshall's when you turn them off, it's the other way, right? Because England, I guess? Anyways, you want to set the thing. But uh, it's super cool. It is just make they make so much racket together. If you listen to the end of the original, the uh, freight train video, you'll hear it go. Shh, it fades out. It's the amp. It's the amp and the del uh, the delay together, making all that racket. Turn some repeats up.
there somewhere. Anyways, you set it to a slap back, right? Put some repeats down. camera in here closer and uh, I'll show you how to play this thing. All right. So this is being done as a Travis pick, okay? By the way, this is a wild guitar. This is a Japanese um, Gretsch. Can we get that thing to read? The Gretsch Chet Atkins Country Gentleman. Um, I burned it. I almost caught it on fire. See the little burn marks? The one up here? The one on the plastic? I have no idea how I did that. Anyways, it's got this huge amount of string back here, right? And the, the uh, bar, the uh, Bigsby, they're really odd ducks, man. Um, there's no saddle adjustment, right? There's just a bar that rocks back and forth. And when I play this thing, I mash too hard on it. It'll go out of... Um, It'll move the bridge. And once you move the bridge, things way out of tune. There's no tone knob. The tone knob is here, right? So here's the bridge pickup. I had to stuff some stuff under the bridge pickup, by the way, to raise it up. I had to get in there and stuff things under it because there's no way to... It just screws into the guitar. So if you wanted... Um, Less trouble, down, takes some out, up, takes more out. This is the volume knob for the whole guitar. It turns the treble off right away too. It turns the high end off almost immediately. It just gets really dull. There's a volume knob for each one of the pickups, right? And it does the same thing. It'll knock all the highs out. So you could actually do like a Les Paul and make one quieter or try to blend them better. Then it's got mufflers, man. Mufflers? What are you talking about? Yeah. Here, I can't see if you can see it. But when you move that thing up, it puts... Where's that thing at? I can't see it. It puts those mufflers up. Is that weird or what? What in the world? I mean, you can't use them if you put them both on. That's how it sounds. You don't have to use your palm, I suppose. It's better, use, <laughs> better use your palm and have the guitar at your disposal. No tone knob. And this, this is a good one, right? This switch here shuts the guitar off. And it shuts it off in the middle. So if you're not careful and you go to play live and you can't find any sound, that's most likely your culprit. So I suppose you could really go to town if you, want, if you wanted to play Rage Against the Machine on the thing. But, all that said, the other thing too, if you have one of these, you have to mind all of these knobs, all of them. Um, they come off, they're pretty easy. I should probably put Loctite on, that one's loose, see? That one's loose. These knobs will come unscrewed and you'll lose them and that's it, right? And there's one on the back too, that holds the strap on. I had to have the strap put here because it's so imbalanced when you're playing it. If you put it up here, it neck dives really hard and you're just constantly holding the guitar up. So that, that, that doesn't work. Anyways, here's how this thing goes, right? Here's how we're going to play it. It's, uh, if you go to Travis pick... Turn some of that delay down. That's the pattern, right? Pinch, thumb index, move your finger, 
no pinch, then thumb index, right? super fun to do. It's got the bass, right? It's got the chords, if you play through them, like Merle used to. And you can put a melody on there. So here's how you try to play this thing. You gotta go through the chords first, right? So play the chords. La 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 la, G7. D minor, G6. To uh, G, it's actually 13. G to G, right? E7, A minor, G, F, C, G, right? And then it needed a bridge, so I put a bridge on it, and I'm just playing C, uh, C, uh, what is that? C6. To, to G9, this is a great G9. C7. F, F minor 6 with a major 7 on it. C, G, so you don't need a bass player, you don't need a drummer, you don't need a singer. My bass player used to yell at me all the time, dude what are you doing? Thumb picking. <laughs> Turn that thing off and turn your marshals on <laughs> all the time. So there's uh, if you're listening to the song on the right, there's going to be a um, on the right speaker. There's going to be uh, a rhythm that I just played an octave up, sort of mocked the melody. Right? Let's see. Let's just try it again. G7. D minor, G7, C, E7, A minor, G, F, C, G, and in the bridge I just kind of did the same thing, I'm just following the chords, right, C, minor G So that's what's going on on the other side on the on the right speaker on the left speaker is the main part this And I'm also grabbing with the melody I'm trying to grab two strings, right? Right? Especially on the E, right? You can't just practice the thumb by itself. You have to actually play the pattern because otherwise you're just picking, right? And you already know how to do that. So 
oh, now if you wanted to, you could just play chords with that pattern, right? So see you're going from C, A minor, F, sorry. It's hard to grab that up on this guitar. Sorry, I'm screwing around. Just the pattern, it sounds like this. Travis making pattern. The reason to hold this F like this is so that you can play stuff. Or like this. It's hard to do on this guitar. Shouldn't be either because I got it. I got the. I got the action pretty deck. So you're actually holding the F, thumb picking, missing the A string if you're not holding the whole chord. So basically, it's like this: you have A string chords, which is going to be the C, the A, or whatever C seven grip type thing, right? C, a, a string chords which start with a pinch is going to be on, this is called a pinch, then thumb index, separate pinch, thumb index, there's tab at the end, I'll put the tab to this song at the end. Um, now an E string chord starts with the pinch on the E string and the B string, then the D string, pin, uh, thumb index, and then A string, thumb index, thumb ring, thumb index. Uh, let's see how it goes. It goes. Uh, uh, it goes like this. It goes pinch, thumb index, thumb middle thumb index, pinch thumb index, th pinch thumb index, thumb middle thumb index. if you get that down it's a lot of fun man it's a lot of fun so I hope you enjoyed that I know I didn't fool anybody with the April Fool's thing but it was good fun anyways give me a reason to do this right um, remember you can't just play it with your thumb you gotta play the whole pattern Seven chord C. I'll see you later.